So first thing to do is to remove the toilet seat, which should just lift off. These are the soft closed cylinders which are used, uh, this is the mechanism that creates the soft close. So to get, these are chambers or barrels that are inside the toilet seat. So it's getting these out of the toilet. There are a series of grooves and locks that this sits into, so they won't just pull out simply. You have to get the seat into a correct position to be able to remove them. And generally, if you put a small screwdriver in, that's what's going to pull that out. But you need to lift the seat, and it's only when you're in a certain position that they will release. So it's just a matter of finding that right position. It's normally 90 degrees when the seat is angled to the toilet. So this is the cylinder itself. And as you can see, there's little grooves, lines, it's shaped. So it has to go in, in the correct and certain position. So just make sure it's aligned. Remember that you need these holes sitting towards the bottom of the seat to pick back up off the hinge, but by just tilting the seat upwards and downwards you will find the right location for that just to slot back in again. So once you've got the cylinder back in, it's just a matter of replacing the seat back onto the toilet. Again, make sure that you haven't got large gaps either side. You, you uh, may need to loosen off the hinges and adjust them so that these are sitting really snug and tight in there because, again, you will lose that soft close if there's too big a gap either side here. But that's your set of hinges replaced. <laughs>